Hi, my name's Ethan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Pokemon Executor deck. Okay, so one thing that's really well with this deck that you need is discarding things, drawing cards, speeding up, building up your Pokemon quicker, and slowing down your opponent. Okay, so... I really like Sylveon at the beginning of a game because of Wink Wink. Your opponent reveals their hand. You may discard a supporter card you find there. And, and use the effect of that card as the effect of this attack. Good at the beginning of a game, not good at the end, near the end or middle of a game. And then we've got Gorgas, whatever his name is. His ability is, if this Pokemon has any grass energy attached to it, its maximum HP is 200. That can be really, really good. And then this Horror Note attack, I've done over 200 damage with. It's awesome. Then we've got Hoopa. His hy hyperspace ring really changes the deck. It makes it a lot easier and quicker to build up my things. Ostrito's Vital Dance ability can come in handy. Alone Sand Slash, his ability, Slush Run, once during turn before you attack, you may draw a card. That can come in handy a lot. And then, of course, Executor. His Tropical Sake attack can do 120 damage with one Grass Energy. Okay, so we've got, oh, sorry. And then Alolan Radicate, Evil Orders is really good and the damage isn't too bad. Alright, so we got all these Pokemon and now we need to do the right amount of energy. So I put in five leaf, four psychic, three water, two fairy, and three darkness. Okay, so we have to discard some of this energy, so let's move on over to the trainers. Now one thing that discards the energy is my three ultra balls. And then I get to search my deck for a Pokemon, which comes, which is very handy. Now, two things that work well with energy is Crasher Lake and Gardenia. I think that's what it, its name is. So, Nest Ball is really good. And this deck totally relies on evolution, so I would put in as many bodybuilding doubles as you can. A lot of TNLs and a Hoo or something like that to get the cards you need. Then we've got two potions for healing. Peeking red card, you get to know what your opponent has and do strategies. Physics third eye, this is a really good one. Your opponent reveals his or her hand, then you discard as many cards as you'd like from your hand, then draw that many cards. So you can discard a bunch of energy and then draw a lot of new cards. And then I've just got Scar Dash. If I have too much energy in my discard pile, I can shuffle some in. Weakness policy is good because this is a multi-element deck and there's going to be a lot of weaknesses. Professor's Letter to get energy. Ninja Boy to replace basics. Skateboard to retreat. Counter Catcher to switch your opponent. Super Rod to get more Pokemon energy out of the discard pile if I need to. And well, yeah, that's about it. So, for a deck, I recommend um, 15 energy, 15 Pokemon, and 30 trainers. You want most trainers possible, and not only does it make your deck better, but it makes the game more enjoyable because there's more stuff that you can actually do. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hope hope you like hope you like this video. If you did, press the like button and, and subscribe. Bye.